Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel, living with Dolce Vita. Find us down the plot, obviously. Putting my second earlies in, which are Charlotte. Well, <coughs> hello everybody. So anyway, um, just putting some Charlotte second early potatoes in today. Uh, well, we've got a break in the weather. <laughs> How long for, I don't know, but uh, we'll give it a go. So, uh, bear with me. Okay, so the plan is then to put, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, how many rows? Well, there's going to be four, uh, about 14 to a row. There's 15 in at the moment. I'm just trying to gauge roughly what, how much spacing, but there's, I'm putting them a foot apart. Probably could be a little bit further apart, but a foot apart will will do I think and in between the rows I'm giving them two foot uh, some say you should give it a little bit more is because obviously uh, to earth them that up you need quite a bit of soil but I think that should be enough for each row and that should give me one four rows I believe okay so um, I just spotted a bit of glass awesome yeah a bit of glass and uh, that's the only trouble with these, these plots. It's amazing how much glass is coming up. Now then, um, I haven't got enough charlottes. Uh, I got 20, uh, 34, I believe. I believe. Which, <coughs> so two rows of 28. So that gives me six over. Uh, and I've got a few first earlies left from this patch as well to finish off. So I'll cut some of these in half, give that a go, see if that works. As you can see, I've cut them in half. Um, one of the old guys suggested dipping them in, in lime, but I'm not, I'm not so sure about that. I've never heard of that, and uh, uh, the, the open wound, but I've always been told that lime gives you scab on potatoes, so I'm not quite sure if that's uh, correct. Anyway. I'll give it a go if, you know, to be honest, potatoes are so cheap in the shops anyway that if I lose all these, <clears throat> it's not a major disaster. But uh, I should have done my research, I suppose. That's the, that's the moral of the story. Okay, so um, enough prevaricating. Let's get on with it. Uh, what shall I do? Shall I do... Uh, put a normal footage, then I'll put on to time-lapse. Bye for now.
okay so unfortunately all that rain is coming towards us um big bank of it oh dear so i've got <laughs> anyway so i've got um i've actually got 16 in a row now not 15 uh wait yeah it's okay they're a foot apart i think what i shall do is the next row i'm gonna give them a bit give them a bit further apart because obviously two sixteens so are 32 and i've only got 30 enough for two rows of 34 <coughs> uh so there'll be two left over so uh yeah right so i'm not going to film the rest there's no point uh you, you know it's just same as same as the first row so i'll show you a bit later when i finished bye for now Okay everybody, so that's my second earlies in now, um, as I said before I'm not going to put main crop in this year, I didn't have a very good result last year, uh, mainly down to the lack of water I think and you know it's, it's just not feasible bringing all this water over. Um, <clears throat> so the first earlies and the second earlies should be more or less finished before any of the real hot weather comes, <laughs> if we get any. So what I've done, I had a few first earlies left over, so I've put them in, uh, where do we do, this row, here. Now, I know what you may be thinking is, I haven't got enough to earth up, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this fence away, move it move it somewhere else, so I can get, gain another couple of feet to earth up. That won't take me long to do that. <clears throat> Uh, and there's me struggling. I put the you put the line down, and then you struggle to p dig the hole for the um, potato. I thought, well, <laughs> <coughs> excuse me. Mark where the line's going to go, then move it a couple of inches along, and then you just dig dig the hole to the one side of the string <laughs> instead of trying to dig the hole on the string. If that makes sense. Anyway. Uh, so I had to take a quite a big break because of all the rain coming from that direction. Uh, we've got a bit of a break at the moment, which is great, so I just need to clean up now. Uh, another disaster. My trowel broke. <laughs> I thought, ah, right, okay, but there we are. So what I used instead was... I don't know if you can see it, this... Uh, bulb planter basically and it and because the ground is so soft it worked a treat and in actual fact it got down deeper for me much more efficient than the, the trowel so I'll have to try and remember that for next year I you know I brought a dibber as well in case I needed the dibber to 
make the hole but it didn't need it anyway so also I've put in a uh, this is this is sulfate of ammonia it's of all a general all-purpose fertilizer better well I don't know if it's better than Gromo or whatever but uh, <clears throat> so I put some in the, each hole with the potatoes later on before I earth up um, I shall you know put a layer of uh, sulfate of ammonia on the top and I'll do the same on that one over there eventually there's no rush <laughs> and uh, I'll just wait now for them to poke the heads up and then I can start earthing them up by which time the ground should be drier I'm hoping so the only problem with you know working in this sort of weather and it is you know it's just mucky it's, you know there's mud everywhere but there we are that's what it's all about isn't it get your fingers dirty or your hands dirty so uh, something I didn't twig and I wish I'd which I have now of course and I didn't think about it earlier as you can see I've got this is the curly kale sorry this is the curly kale and it's obviously set in put it going to seed or flower or whatever you want to call it well effectively this is purple sprouting I mean it's not it's a different plant I know but you know it's the same thing really and it tastes more or less the same so I've been cutting these down for to have a tea and they're absolutely gorgeous so uh, you know and also if you, you, know, you come down and you get peckish get chew on one of these it'll be so um, things are starting to c come down um, just got to finish off in the corner to put the there's an ABC down the bottom there which will go in that corner but as I say it's just too wet and mucky to to, to finish it off at the moment so um, yeah you can probably hear the wind at the moment so uh, as always thank you very much for all my subscribers uh, and uh, if you're new to the channel Please subscribe, it's all free, of course. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, I thought I'd. Um, so, my spacings were. Uh, well, I put my foot apart for my second earlies, but um, that was the first row. But I think I got. What did I say it was? 16 in a row or something like ridiculous. So, around 16, I spaced out, so I know. In this one I had 12. I've got 12, 12, 12, uh, yeah, 12 in that one as well. So, a bit further apart and two foot in between. So, hopefully, that'll be enough for earthing up. Right, I'm burbling now, so I'm just going to clean up. Okay, so I'm burbling now, so I'm just going to have a quick clean up and. Uh, and uh, I'll see you down the plot, well, whenever, pretty soon I suppose, bye for now.